Hello everybody and welcome back to Grappler Man's videos. I'm looking forward to sharing my Maze Runner Clipper with you today. It's a Maelstrom Center Multitask Ship Build. I'm going to give it a try and see if we can get into the Maelstrom without much trouble and then we'll see what we can do when we get there. So, if you enjoy the video, please subscribe and like and continue to look for more positive videos from me about Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Alright, here we go. First off, the reason I chose the Clipper is A, besides the fact that I like the ship, I think it's a really cool ship with some limitations. The fact that it's not a medium ship really surprises me. But it has a class 7 size slot which is going to be great for using um, the multi limpet controller and it's a gorgeous ship it's fast it can run fairly cold so I think it's the perfect role ship for this particular role so let's begin and see what I put inside of it now again I'm not an expert but this is my best guess is what I think will work okay let's start with the core internals first of all uh, it has a military grade with uh, modifications on it as heavy duty with deep plating now I don't have it all the way to five but it's still fine the power plant same way but I put thermal spread on it again it's armored but not all the way engineered the thrusters are dirty drive with thermal spread again not all the way to grade five but you can see I get 557 meters per second out of that. The frame shift drive, again, will increased range. I put thermal spread on that just to see if that made it colder to see what would happen. My life support's an A because I'll be in the maelstrom for a while. The power distributor is charge enhanced because you gotta keep boosting and you want it to be able to keep charging. I do need to improve that one a little bit. I've got long range scanners on there and the normal fuel tank. Uh, let's look at the utilities. So you need a caustic heat sink. I was fortunate enough to uh, get the uh, extra capacity on it hopefully they'll fix that again I have the, the the pulse neutralizer a heat sink with extra capacity and an enhanced Xeno scanner now let's go ahead and take a look at the hard points um, this is going to be a toy this is I'm going to I've got a multi cannon on here and I'm going to put another multi cannon on here I thought missiles would be good but uh, it maybe with turreted it might work better the fixed ones were hard and I tried it I've got a mining lance beam so I can mine from a long distance away and a beam laser with a long range and a thermal vent so I can try to stay cool. Now here's the reason I like the clipper. It has the universal multi limpet controller which allows me to have all the different limpet forms and you can change out pretty simple. I've got two cargo racks, one a 6E and one a, a anti corrosion to grab those corrosive materials as I'm in the maelstrom because again you don't know what you're going to run into. Um, as far as the uh, hull reinforcements go, I'm using the Guardians just to kind of help ease the caustic stuff. I have uh, a field, auto field maintenance. In fact, I have two of them. Uh, one is just purely to fix the first one because uh, you will be repairing quite a bit when you're in there. I have a small, small uh, fuel scoop. And the module reinforcements I originally did as a... Uh, Guardian, but they were disabled really quickly. So I went ahead and put the uh, regular module reinforcements. I'm thinking about changing out this auto field maintenance unit into an auto uh, another module reinforcement as well. Okay, well, and there you have it. That's the build. Now you'll notice that uh, it's got about a 2,000 uh, rated hull, uh, decent jump range of about 20 and you know we don't care about resistances if we look at the speed you can see that I've got plenty of speed at 557 uh, meters per second uh, and a coasting speed of about 440 which is pretty good you can see I have plenty of power left over um, the mass is good and the um, the cargo capacity and the uh, distributed draw are all decent it seems to me that uh, this will uh, function pretty well and you notice there's the uh, integrity and you can see that um, I think all the specs are right in line so let's take her out and see what she does okay I'm going to approach the Maelstrom Oya now this is the first build uh, that I did just to see if I could get into the Maelstrom before I modified it this is where I found out that the uh, Guardian module reinforcements just they just shut right down pretty immediately. The other thing I've noticed, which I think is really important, is when you get interdicted inside here, or as you're coming to it, 
the the scout variants now attack your frame shift drive pretty regularly I went from a hundred down to 47 and was avoiding the interdictions and um, it's it's pretty powerful so with the guardian modules uh, it, they didn't really protect my modules very well uh, when I put the regular human modules on the re reinforcement they uh, my it only went down to about 80 something from a hundred off of one uh, set of scout hits and again I was easily avoiding the the attack um, well anyway as you go in here what you want to make sure you do yeah, for me anyway the reason I like this build is I flew in and I just kept boosting 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 and kept ejecting the caustic uh, uh, heat sink every time it got full and you get close enough and eventually the pulse neutralizer will be coming into play because a big pulse will come up I experienced I think two maybe three and it was really easy to avoid them once you get past that there's a section of time where you don't get caustic damage and there's no pulse and there's very little activity and it's just like you're in an asteroid field at that point I stopped and uh, repaired my hull and actually refilled my caustic heat sinks and used the uh, auto repair module to repair my frame shift drive and thrusters after the experience of getting in now it took me about five to eight minutes to get to the center but when I got to the center I was able to see the big deal but I was pushing my wrong key binds and again it boosted on me and they saw me and they started attacking and I wasn't prepared for it and so I am just got destroyed in there but I was able to get in pretty easily and it looks like the mechanics is going to be uh, useful for this ship um, I'm going to have to tweak a little bit to see what kind of stuff's in here after I go in here again. But uh, I think I know I've seen videos where people have been mining, and I know I've seen lots of materials that we can collect. So, having collect limpets, decontamination limpets, even research limpets, maybe recon limpets, there might be some things we can connect to. Having that multi controller, I think, is huge, which makes the Clipper, I think, an ideal ship to have. It's, it's not as expensive if you lose it as an Anaconda Corvette or cutter um, it's a little bit cheaper to to build I think and the insurance cost is a lot less so I think it's a good first time ship if you want to go in and actually do some uh, collecting inside of this and research inside of the, the maelstrom anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and I will continue to update and put out some more once I get in here and get a little bit better at it but I wanted to share the build so for now Rock the Man out <laughs>